Rick obviously can't dwell on that one for too long, but I'm guessing the boys are pretty flat at the moment. Yeah, I think we are. Um, the sense around the group at the minute is a little bit flat, but um, yeah, as you said, we can't dwell on it too much. Uh, I think it's really important to take some of the learnings out of tonight, what we can do better, um, because there was parts of our game that were really good. Uh, you talk about finals, I think we are plus 25 contest. Um, time in half, we are at 58%. So for us, um, the game that we wanted to play was there. Um, it was just probably our execution of the basics at times, and um, especially out of our back half. So uh, for us, we'll, we'll move on pretty quickly, as you said, but sort of the equation doesn't really change. You still have to win three games to um, get to where you want to get to. So we'll, we'll uh, have that mindset and move on. There were some good moments throughout the night. Do you think Sydney just got on top a little stronger in some certain times of the last quarter? Yeah, they just probably did it for longer, I think. And as I said, um, we cost ourselves a little bit with some of the goals that uh, we gave them. Um, you know, a lot of their score was probably off us, um, our mistake. So for us, we'll work on that. Um, it's probably not a trend in our game, but uh, yeah, for us, I think, as you said before, move on. Uh, don't dwell on it too much because that's why you get a double chance. That's why you work so hard during the year um, for moments like this. And uh, we're going to be a pretty driven group as we've been all year. And um, I'm excited by the challenge. Sydney's pressure was certainly high tonight. Did it feel like a really hot game of footy out there? Yeah, absolutely. I think even last time we played them, um, we knew that they're a great pressure team. Um, there was a lot of balls that were smothered tonight by Sydney. So for us, that's where we want to get to. Um, their pressure was elite. So uh, for us, we'll probably take some learnings out of that and, and hopefully um, you know, adopt some of that. You've come out of the team meeting with Goody there. What's his main message? Yeah, basically they are just in terms of not dwelling on it too much. Um, as much as we're going to take a lot of learnings out of tonight, um, we'll move on pretty quickly because we've got a big challenge in Brisbane um, who played some pretty good footy last night. So, um, yeah, we're excited by that challenge, but at the same time we're going to take some learnings out of it but move on pretty quickly. Obviously coming off a win against Brisbane a couple of weeks ago, do you take confidence from that as well? Oh, I think probably finals footy is just completely different. We, if, we go into that game thinking that we're just going to roll over and beat Brisbane. That's, they're a great team. Um, they've been a good team for a long time. So for us, uh, we're going to have to be at our best like, we, like you always do in finals football. And uh, for us, yeah, I think that we'll look at some of the stuff that we did last game against them, but um, definitely not just think that it's going to be you know, a walk in the park or anything. We know that they're a bloody good football side, so um, we'll be ready. The team was obviously keen to be back here at the MCG for finals given the nature of last season. The crowd was pretty strong. Did you enjoy being back out there? Yeah, absolutely. I think even um, the roar after the uh, national anthem was, was pretty exciting. And um, yeah, obviously doing it in Perth last year was a little bit different. But for us, um, we love playing in front of our Melbourne fans and it was great to see them come out tonight. Yeah, last night, Rick. Thanks for your time. Thank you.